Hi everybody, welcome back to The Beer Crony. My name's Chris and today we have another beer review for you. Uh, it's that time of day where I feel like I can do a beer review. It's the evening time when everyone's at dinner and everyone's calming down and watching TV or etc. So, et so I get a bit of peace, time to do a beer review. So today we have a Brewdog versus Northern Monk collaboration. We have the Vermont Sessions. So as is, as I said, Brewdog versus Northern Monk. Uh, Northern Monk makes some tremendous beers. Uh, really do enjoy Northern Monk beers. Brewdog beers are hit and miss and have been for quite some time. However, I did a review a few days ago of the uh, Brewdog uh, Nitro beer, the Choco Libra, which I thought was fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. So yeah, let's have a look. Uh, we're going by the can. I don't like the can. I think the can's fairly bland, really. Quite a bland looking can, but it's not about how it looks. It's about how it tastes, isn't it? So let's crack on with this Northern England. Uh, Northern England? That's completely the wrong words. New England. New England IPA, not Northern England. Uh, New England IPA. Let's crack it open. Let's see how she looks. Get her in the glass. Very slight head forming. There it comes. Yeah, not much of a head. Uh, it's quite thick, the head, um, but barely a finger head. But look how hazy that is. That is as hazy as you like, isn't it? Proper hazy. I can smell that already. I can really smell tropical aromas coming out of that already, which is fantastic. That head's dissipating, so let's get a bit more in the glass. But yeah, I can already smell the tropicalness of that already. But look how hazy that is. That is delightful. Really lovely and hazy almost looks creamy but yeah I can smell it already it does smell good it actually reminds me of what's over in my fridge because I'm in the kitchen today I'm not actually in my bedroom where I do the other reviews um, but yeah it reminds me of something that's in my fridge it reminds me of my kids tropical juice that they've got in the fridge very very similar color to the tropical juice that's in their fridge hopefully this will taste better than the tropical juice that's in their fridge uh, but let's not mess about let's have a smell mm. Oh dear, that's gorgeous smell. That is a gorgeous aroma. Oh, it's just, just tropically, so tropically. Tropically, is that even a word? Tropical, it's tropical aromas. Almost like guava fruit, passion fruit. Mangoes and pineapples, all those traditional proper tropical flavors. Oh, it smells amazing. It really does smell good. Uh, the head's gone, uh, the head's completely gone. Now this beer has been around a while, uh, this certainly isn't new. Uh, if you watch some reviews they say that it's a new range to Morrison's, it's probably because those reviews are, are quite old. It has been around a while, uh, I did pick mine up in Morrison's for three pounds for the can. It has been around a while so I'm hoping that this can isn't quite old and hasn't been sat on a warm supermarket shelf for a long time. What's the date on it? So the use by date is uh, February 21. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not been on the shelf for too long because the the oat, oat, oaty taste that you can get can can change if it's been sat on the shelf for a while. So let's not mess about. Let's tuck into it. Let's see how she tastes. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. That does taste really, really good. Um, you can't see the carbonation in there because of how hazy it is. I love how hazy that is. I think that's fantastic how hazy that looks. Uh, but there is carbonation in there, but you can't really see it, but you definitely get it in the mouth. There's definitely carbonation rolling around the mouth, pushing the flavours around. Lovely sweetness on the front. Really nice. All those tropical flavours right on the initial taste. Certainly getting all those tropical flavours, very similar to the aroma. Definitely kind of grapefruit in there, passion fruit, mango. And you, you get the sweetness of those fruits on the front. But then on the back, or even the mid palate, going towards the back, you start getting that nice bitterness that I like. You know, a nice dry bitterness on the back, very refreshing. Let's try some more. Oh yeah, that's good. 
that is very nice. I did put it in the fridge, um, didn't keep it in the fridge for too long so it's not super chilled, so at a great temperature. Uh, but the smell is, I can smell the aromas coming off of that. Um, I suppose on video it might look a bit closer to my nose than it actually is, uh, but I can definitely still get the aromas coming off of that, that is delicious. Delicious aromas, so tropically, tropically, I keep saying tropically, it's not, not a word is it? It's tropical, tropical. It's literally like wham singing Club Tropicana in your mouth, that is. Just the pure tropicalness. Mmm. That's a good beer. The Vermont Sessions, Brewdog versus Northern Monk. Like I say, I really like Northern Monk beers. I don't know who's done the leading on this collaboration. I dare say it's probably Brewdog that's led most of this. Um, but if it is, fair play to Brewdog. Uh, there's loads of write-ups on the back. You get a, a piece from Northern Monk, you get a piece from Brewdog, and then you get a description of the Vermont Sessions on the back as well. I'm not going to read it all out because that's a lot. The ingredients-wise, typical Brewdog fashion. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Typical Brewdog fashion, the writing's tiny. I need a magnifying glass to read that. I'm not even going to read it. I don't need to read it. it. just tastes absolutely fantastic. Like I say, it's like having Wham singing Club Tropicana in your mouth. Let's have some more. Yeah, lovely in tropical flavours. The passion fruit, grapefruit in there, bit of pineapple, but certainly a bit, certainly grapefruit you're going on. But all the tropical, typical tropical flavours you'd expect. That is a very nice beer. I didn't talk about the ABV, did I? Uh, so a 5.2% volume ABV. That's um, that's definitely a sessionable beer, isn't it? At 5.2%, you could certainly sink a few of those. Uh, I'll, I'll happily sink a few of those. Nice sort of beers if you've got a few people around and you want to have a good old session on some beers and enjoy every one of them, that's the one to do it on. That is a fantastic beer. Like I said, it's been around a while and there's probably a good reason why that's sticking around for a while because it is a bloody good beer. So yeah, would I recommend it? Highly recommend it. Uh, am I going to buy that again? I'll most definitely buy that again. Um, Oh, excuse me again that's the type of beer that I probably was going to have in my fridge is, is some of those as long as they're being made they're going to be sitting in my fridge alongside some other regulars uh, that I'd happily drink on a regular basis and at 5.2% that's a lovely sessionable beer isn't it so yeah great beer really really nice well done Brewdog well done Northern Monk great collaboration fantastic beer uh, get on down to the shops get on down to Morrison's I believe Tesco's might be stocking it now as well uh, so yeah Highly recommend it. Really, really lovely beer. Uh, this isn't going to last long. Uh, this is going to be gone soon. There's still some left in the can, but it's not going to take me long to drink that proper good sessionable beer. So get off down to the shops, buy yourself some of that and enjoy it. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.